Hey guys, Shane here from Fugadec 3D Printing. Today we're going to check out what filament came in the May Maker Box. Welcome back guys. So, as again, as we do every month, we're going to do the prints with the filament that came in the Maker Box. I love doing this, I love testing out new filament. It's a great way to learn how to use other filaments or what's even out there that you might like for another project. Uh, it's, again, I just really enjoy it. So, without further ado. All right, so we've got, things are a little bit different this time. So we have the Join the Community. Uh, oh, so their affiliate program is back in roll out now so nick actually wrote to me of how many people i had and where i stand with the new affiliate program so if you guys want to subscribe to the box down below there's a link 15 percent off you only get 10 percent off your first box of the website you get 15 percent off with my code down below so if you use that after i get seven people to subscribe with that link i get a free maker box which is great and i believe it's cumulative so as i get seven people if it takes one month five months seven months then you would then get a free maker box. I think that's how this one goes. Uh, so they also have print ideas, which is really cool. Makerbox.me slash print dash ideas. I'll put that link down below. So if you're kind of wondering what can I print with this much filament, that's somewhere to start. And instead of putting the discounts on each of the labels on the spool, like the filament bags, all the discounts are listed right here. So that's interesting as well, very different. All right, we've got some, the Harbio little gummies to go over there, another Maker Box sticker, and the filament, which looks like it'll be fun this month. Okay, so this is different right off the bat. Form Future sent this, looks like already pre-made for them. They didn't have to put the bag, they didn't make their little label that they normally make, straight off from Form Futra. So this is Stone Fill. Uh, it's super duper tough. It's 50 grams. Uh, the color is terracotta. Interesting, okay. Print temp 200 to 240. And the batch number, that's all you get. Again, this would definitely be checking the website, but it's a very interesting color. Have not seen that before, but this is also, again, something different that they're doing as a pre-made sample from the manufacturer is included in the box. Instead of MakerBox buying the spools and then making up to the 16 meters, I think is what they do, uh, which comes right around 50, 70 grams. Like I think 16 meters is what they normally do. You're getting a 50 gram meter from the manufacturer directly. Interesting. All right, we have Z Marble from Zyro, Z-I-R-O, which is a super cool marble effect going on there. So it's white with like the black specks in it. So the print settings on this, hot end temperature, 180 to 220, bed temperature, 40 to 50 C, speed, 50 to 70, so just like PLA, abrasive, no. Oh, that is, that is nice that they put that on there because a lot of people don't know if you're printing with an abrasive filament or not, you can, it eventually will wear out your nozzle, even with a harder nozzle, it'll just take a lot longer with one. But if you have a straight up brass nozzle, after running, you know, a few prints out of an abrasive filament, you're gonna need a new nozzle because it's no longer 0.4, whatever it previously was, it is much, much larger than that. So the info on this, a composite PLA manufactured to resemble real marble, prints similar to PLA, which again, the temps are right there with it. That is super awesome looking. This will be all really, this will be really cool to see how it turns out. All right, so we have Rainbow Pastel from Unicofill. And this just looks like it is a whole bunch of colors gone through, there's yellow, purple, pink, um, like a green yellow mix here, a little bit of orange in there. So a bunch of different colors all in there. So the print settings on this, hot end temperature, 210 to 230, bed temperature, 40 to 60, speed, 20 to 100 millimeters second, abrasive, no. A PLA that transitions through pastel rainbow, blue tape or glue stick on glass is recommended. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, if it's if it's a PLA, I can print on pretty much anything with PLA. That's very easy to print with. But again, this will be a very interesting look on how it will work out with the coin and see how it turns out. All right, so now we have some Phoenix nylon, which I've never seen colored nylon before. And this is from Breathe 3DP. Now, if you're printing nylon, you have to print this hot. So it's 240 to 260 on the hot end. Now, I need to remember, if you have a PTF lined hot end, at 250, it begins to break down and it begins to melt. So be very careful on what temperature you're printing this with because like in 250, 255, that's gonna start to melt and you're gonna get a nice clog and you're gonna have an unusable throat because it's gonna be just a melted glob of PTFE. Bed temperature on this, 60 to 80 C, speed 30 to 150. 
that is a humongous range. I'm not quite sure why you would give a 120 millimeter second uh, per second range. That's crazy. Abrasive no. Info, an industrial grade nylon with colored pigmentation. A glue stick is recommended for bed adhesion. Okay, I like that they're including the abrasive or non-abrasive. I like that they're telling you about how to have this adhere to the bed. That's a very different and that's a very big improvement. I still think the one last thing they need to include is whether you should use a fan or not. I've said this before when I had problems with like the MG84, I think it was, months ago, I didn't know that that was like an ABS type of plastic that you're not supposed to use a fan on and that failed horribly. So that is one thing I still think that they need to add to these bags. Okay, well now we know everything about the filaments, let's get them printing and come back see how they turn out. Alrighty then. Well, let's first talk about the spool that I ended up printing. So I printed this one and it prints always one except for the little tabs just kind of slip in there and they are able to be rotated to add filament. This ended up being a little bit too big for the rolls that come from MakerBox. For the roll that came from Form Futura, which was the stone fill, that was actually too large for this one. So I used this with stone fill and I'll show you what happened but it ended up screwing up on me and I lost the print. So I was pretty bummed about that. So I had to reprint it. I already had issues with the filament as it was and this spool holder did not help me at all. And once I had that issue, I was done because you only get so much filament from MakerBox and you don't want to screw it up. This screwed it up so I was very upset with this. This is gonna be a no-go for me for using this ever again, but I will put it down in the video description if you guys want to check it out. A lot of reasons why I didn't like it is because it's very, very flimsy. It's not stable at all. It would be nice if these arms came out and then this little tourney was on the side. Also, if it was a smidge and smaller, it's granted, this is made for loose filament. It's not made for the Maker Box. So if you were to add something else to make this more rigid, and if you were to bring it in just a little bit so that the inner diameter would fit more to the inner, the outer diameter of this would fit more to the inner diameter of these spools, that would be better. But as I said, the way it is, this is a no-go. All right, so here's the first coin. This is Rainbow Pastel by Unicofill. And this is a very interesting filament. So it is shaded every so many meters. I, I don't, didn't say, and I didn't look it up online, but as you can see that we had purple, then we transitioned to this red, then we transitioned to this like yellow green, which was actually a huge amount of the filament. Also, the bulk amount of filament was red because that's the widest part, and then it tapered down to go to this like green colored. But the shading into here was very cool, very interesting, and the bottom, very interesting as well. It's very transparent, I should say translucent for that. And so on this, the bottom layer came out really nice. You did have, again, the PLA kind of issues on here. This one was printed on the Monoprice Select Mini. Sidewalls came out nice. Top layers filled in very nicely, came out very well. Just again, these little PLA issues. So if you're looking for a filament that kind of does this gradient change, this very well could be something you want to look into. I personally really don't like this like yellow green, I mean this vomit colored one, I'm sorry. It just is not an appealing color at all. I wish it would have stayed more of the purples and pinks and maybe to the more of like a green green or a yellow yellow or I don't know, something just else than this like m mucky, mustardy, not even just, I don't know, just dirty yellow, dirty green look. I just didn't like the coloring. But for what it is, for the color, how it changes color throughout the, the spool, I think that is very cool. I just think they need to pick better colors. All right, here we have the Phoenix Nylon. Well, not really, this was my first attempt. I kind of forgot that you have to glue this down. So I tried printing this on the Folgertech uh, build surface and you can see it warped right off of it. This top section right here stayed on but the whole rest of this all came off. So I reprinted it 
And this is what we came out with. And this came out okay. I was not impressed with it. <clears throat> the top layers under extruded, so it didn't fill in everywhere. There was a little bit of zitting, so that's a little bit of retraction settings. Okay, I can I can take that. But the under extrusion on the top layers, I don't like. The side layers all filled in, fairly smooth, not too terrible. And the bottom just looks like garbage. I mean, uh, here, again, you can really see it. I guess probably the color. You can see where it had the PLA style issues and over the support as well. It just didn't adhere well to each other when it went over that support material. Byron layer went down okay. Super smooth on that. I mean, super smooth. And just a tad bit of stringing here and there. But I said, I just wasn't thrown over the moon with this filament because this under extrusion on top is a huge turnoff because the rest of it came out so well, you know, fill wise, there's no other under extrusions anywhere else in the print, but these top layers, again, not impressed with that at all. But it's cool because it's got a bit of flex to it. It's strong, very strong, it's nylon. So maybe if I tweak settings a little bit more, maybe just over extrude it a little bit more, reduce my temperature. So I started at 250, that was too hot, it was bubbling, took it down to 240. That seemed to print just fine. But again, this top here, Maybe just have to up my extrusion multiplier just a little bit to compensate for top layer crappiness. I mean, you can see it even here in the turns or in like the indents here where it under extruded inside there as well. So it was an okay filament, but I'm not overall impressed with it. All right, next we have the Z Marble by Zyro. And this I also had some issues with. And I think I'm gonna blame the Monoprice Select Mini for this. I think because I don't think it was the filament but I did have issues starting with the rainbow one as well, but I was able to catch that one. This one I printed overnight, I wasn't able to catch. So I had some serious under extrusion go on because I believe the hot end started to skip. And it seems that when I'm printing with the Select Mini lately and it gets higher up, it gets closer and closer. So it's actually pushing too hard onto the print as it's trying to print and which is causing a back pressure in the nozzle, which is causing the extruder to strip or to skip, uh, and that's a big issue with Bowden style uh, extruders. The bottom layer came out really nice. Over the support, there is issue. It's really hard to see on the camera, I think, but I can see and feel it here. There were the standard PLA issues. I think the effect of this is marvelous. It just looks like marble. It looks great. But with this under extrusion issue here, which I really think it was my printer, I'll have to reprint it at a smaller scale because I don't have enough filament in here to print two of my coins. I can only print one at 200%, which this is, and I can print another one at 150%, but I didn't get to that one for this one. I did it for the next one, though. A uh, little bit of stringy, not too much uh, pimpling or bubbling on it, uh, so my retraction was fairly on with this. But, like I said, that under extrusion kind of sucked. I would love to try this out simply because it's so big, like do like a statue or something in this. would be really cool. So I really would like to try this out more and see if this was just my printer or if it was the filament, but I'm pretty sure it was my printer. Okay, here we have the stone fill from Form Futura. And you can see here's a 200% coin and 150% coin. We'll start with 200% and you can see right here, I already am missing part of it here. When I pulled it off of the Folgitech build tack, build surface, this just sheared right off. It did not even stay on whatsoever. The bottom layers over the bridging came out really bad. All around, it came out really bad here. It just It just didn't adhere to each other well at all. And on top, this is where I had that stupid spool get snagged and totally jack up the print. I already had one under extrusion line, if you can see that in there, that went around. You can all, you can all see it right here, definitely. So that was interesting. I even have it here on the outside as well, you can see it. And the top layers were coming out okay. They show this on their website as having a 60% stone powder fill along with the plastic, the PLA plastic. And they show it in vase mode. They don't show it with anything as complicated as this coin. So I'm not sure exactly what they're expecting to be able to print out of it if it's only vases. But again, this one I did reprint because this was such an epic failure. And here is the reprint. The bottom layers came out fairly well. I did still have issues over support and all the way around on all sides there were issues with just this outer angle. I had severe oozing 
So my retraction was definitely not high enough for this, and I used PLA retraction. There was not much oozing with this one, oddly enough, but with a smaller size, there was a significant amount of oozing. Top layers came out okay, as you can see here, a little under extruded on parts like here. It feels very interesting. It's not terribly heavy. I thought it would be it would feel a little bit heavier, but it doesn't. Uh, since you know the stone fill, I don't know, stone makes some heavier to me. Now when you scratch it, so when you go to like, I tried using my uh, little putty knife here to just push off some of the bubbling, and you can see how it changes the color. And the same here as well, if you just, you know, basically scratch at it, it does that. So you kind of have to, you know, be careful however you want this to look, if you're sanding or whatever, make sure you do an even sand so that you can even out how that looks. Again, this was an okay filament. I was not overly impressed with it. Uh, it did not say if it was abrasive. I thought it probably would have been with stone, so I used my hardened nozzle on it. But again, I was not overly impressed with it. It's an interesting concept having stone fill, you have wood fill, carbon fiber fill, bacon filled, hell, you got all kinds of things out there now. Again, it was just okay. So overall, I had a few more issues than I normally have with the Maker Box. I can normally get them all to print pretty well. Various issues here and there. Again, that spool holder just absolutely just such a buzz kill because this coin would have come out okay, aside from this just totally not coming off the build plate and missing the top 20 or 30 layers. Other than that, they were very interesting filaments. Uh, they were interesting to print with. Nylon, I don't get very much nylon to print with, so this is also a good you know refresher for me on how to print with it. As always, if you guys have any issues, any questions, please let me know down in the video description. I can tell you what settings I used. If you're having problems, you might be able to help me why I had such problems with this one. You know, again, I guess you just really need to up your retraction setting. So just to be aware of that, if you guys do end up printing with this, or if you haven't printed with it already. As I said earlier, MakerBox does have their affiliate program back in swing. So in the video description, there's gonna be a coupon code for 15% off your first box. Your first box through MakerBox itself is 10% off. You can get 15% off with me. And for every person that subscribes, I get a little tick mark. Once I get to seven of those guys, I go ahead and get a MakerBox for free. So that's really cool. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, if you found it helpful at all, if you enjoyed watching these MakerBox videos, please give it a big like. If you didn't, dislike button, talk to me in the comments down below. If you wanna support the channel, best way to do it, subscribe. Hit that little bell icon, that way you know anytime I have new content that comes out. If you wanna support the channel financially, Patreon link is down below. Donate me a dollar more. I greatly appreciate it. My current patrons, thank you so much for your patronage. It really does help out. If you want to help me out without spending your money, there's some affiliate links down below. Update your bookmarks. Do your daily shopping with things like Amazon, Banggood, eBay. I greatly appreciate it. A little slice of that comes back here to help me out to buy things like the MakerBox. I appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, happy printing.